Hey guys, and what is very surprising news, WPN has given Walmart an exclusive booster pack. And these booster packs are by color. So let me explain that again. So instead of getting random cards, you can now buy a booster pack with, in this case, all white. So it's called a white theme booster. There is, of course, red, green, and so on. At this moment in time, it's exclusive to Walmart. Maybe it's also in Target and Barnes and Nobles, but it will not be available at your local game store. This leads to many questions. Um, what is in the booster pack being the main one? Well, you get one rare or mythic that's guaranteed to be the same color as the product you buy. That has a lot of implications. Now, in this particular set, in this particular plane, Khan Scion of Urza is the most expensive card. And unless they have an artifact booster pack, you're probably not going to get that card. Now, in the future, what if the most expensive card is white? We do have History of Benelia. That one's kind of pricey. And we have Lyra. Well, if you only are interested in that card, you can buy this pack to ensure greater odds no guarantee, but the odds are still greater. Surprisingly, your local game store is not going to be able to carry this. This is almost like a repack. So for the WPN retailer group, with the release of Domania, we are testing a new product at 300 Walmart locations across North America called the Donamia Themed Booster. Boosters will contain... 35 cards and include one rare or mythic from a given color or theme. The MSRP will be $6.99. By limiting this test to a single large account, we are able to perform a controlled test that allows us to more efficiently and accurately interpret sales results that will help inform future decisions about this kind of product. So you might know a few things let's kind of dissect it a it's only available at walmart 300 walmarts that means walmart is a official partner and is in very very much i mean because they're going to share the data right so wizard of coast is relying on walmart to run this test which can't be cheap right and yeah, that means Walmart may receive exclusive product in the future. I would love to get my hands on one of them. Now, $6.99, you get one rare or mythic on color and 35 cards. Now, it doesn't say how many uncommons or how many. Uncommon-wise, there's a $4 artifact uncommon in this set. If we had 10 uncommons or something like that where you get a bunch of uncommons, then yeah, this would be worth buying if the color has a uncommon worth like Fatal Push, for instance. If Fatal Push was available in this booster pack for black, then yes, I would buy Fatal Push because all you have to do is get one of them and you make back the $6.99 pretty much. This has a lot of implications for the future of MTG Finance, especially for standard sets, if you choose the color. The Rares and Mythics, I think it is a little less because it, the pack is more expensive. It's about $3 more expensive. But for the Uncommons, and especially the Commons, you can tailor what you want. If there is a $1 or $2 Common, buy, buy the Fiend Booster Pack. You're going to get a good chance of getting it. If there is a $1 to $2 or $4 to $5 uncommon, buy the theme color theme booster pack. There's a good chance that you can get it. The Walmart thing has me thinking, uh, as well as discussions with GameStop, and local game stores are just going to get hammed because there is a partnership going on. And the partnership has already extended to the Modern Masters, the Master Series, and the partnership has already extended to new products like the Magic Mystery Box, which is a official Wizard of Coast product advertised on their website. This is pushing it because for the casual player, it's a perfect product. 
the casual player doesn't want random cards, they want to make a deck. And this is going to be actually incredibly fun to draft as well. That's the market with the highest margins. And that's the market that 99% of Magic players are. They're casual players. And by taking away traffic from your local game store, they're pushing away from uh, playing Magic at a location to just play Magic at your kitchen table. Which I think is probably the future of this game, to be honest. Anyway, bye guys.